Um, let's turn to a different uh, industry that's going to change. And we had this conversation in our last podcast and on stage at Abundance 360, which is coders. Um, coding is changing dramatically. Uh, what are your thoughts there? So when I started as a programmer, gosh, 22 years ago, I was writing enterprise level assembly code for voice over IP software. Uh, wow. I had to switch. Uh, that's some of the largest chunks of code out there. Yeah, well, it's very low level code. We didn't have GitHub. We just got subversion the following year. Programming these days is a lot of, like Lego because what you have is kind of you have a very low level, but then you have levels of abstraction until you get to PyTorch and some of these other languages. So you have to compile lots of different libraries because you make it easier and easier. Human words are just the next level of abstraction there. But the nature of coding is going to change. Um, and so the coders that are coding traditionally today around the world, um, what will they, how will they be using and working in this industry two to five years from now? Well, again, there will be no coder that doesn't use AI as part of their workflow. Okay. I mean, I think that's the important thing. It's not like coders are going to go away. They're going to be using a new set of tools. The expectations will rise. The amount of debugging, unit testing, all of these things will decrease. Because how much time did coders actually spend architecting? Mm -hmm. Very little upfront. It's more about understanding information flows, it's about architecting these things. It's about having feedback loops to understand customer requirements. Databricks is a $38 billion company does data lakes. So it takes your data, organizes it, allows you to write structured queries. They used to have to, you have to, used to have to write queries. Now you just talk to it and it just does it. Yeah. Microsoft to introduce the same thing. I mean, I can't wait for that in the field of medicine, um, which I want to talk about next, but you said something earlier where you can imagine there can be a billion coders in the future. Yeah. Because the, all the barriers to creating programs disappear. Yeah. So, it's not that there are no programmers. There's no programmers that we know it because there's a billion programmers. Yes. <laughs> Everyone is a programmer. Nobody's a programmer in a way yeah. because it just becomes a matter of course. I want to make software that does something and reacts in these ways and looks like this and adapts like this. And then it comes to you and you're like, no, that's not quite right. I want this moved over. It happens almost live, this feedback loop. It's as we talk to ChatGPT for, you know, creating a paragraph that describes something we want, we modify it. And, and I mean, like ChatGPT4 is a good example because to write an integration to something like ChatGPT4 to GPT used to take days, weeks, an API, an application protocol kind of interface. Now, what you do is actually you tell it the schema, you tell it kind of what you should do, and it writes it automatically, mm -hmm. literally within like a few minutes. And then in a few hours, you've integrated into it. 